Let's go ahead and go on to our portion guide now. Now I want you to pretend this is your plate, all right? So on your plate, you've got three different categories. We already sort of talked, them, talked about them over here, but you got three different categories. You got your protein category, you've got your starch category, and you've got your veggies category. Now these are the portion breakdowns that you want to aim for. Again, remember, we're not trying to be perfect, we're just trying to be more consistent and have some targets so we understand on average what we should be, what we should be doing to portion out our food. So over here in the top left, we've got protein. So if this is my plate, I want one fourth of my plate to be covered with protein. Now, depending on the person, this is going to be one to two servings of protein, all right? If you have a little bit more protein than you need, don't worry about it, it's not that big a deal. In fact, I'd rather you um, prioritize getting more protein than less. So you can always save it for later if you need to. So one fourth of your plate should be protein. You can also think of it as 25% of your meal. It should be from a protein rich source. So things like chicken breast, chicken thighs, fish, you know, salmon, uh, you know, red meats, whatever type of protein that you like to eat. Then the other fourth of your plate should be starch. So starch is a type of carbohydrate. We've talked about this in the past. Things like beans and potatoes and rice. That should take up about one fourth to 25% of your plate. So these two servings are, are sort of, they're not necessarily equal, but they take up equal amounts of space on your plate. Now the other half of your plate should be low starch, low carbohydrate vegetables. So things like broccoli and cauliflower and green beans and eggplants and tomatoes and Brussels sprouts and things like that. By doing this, you are going to have a much tighter control and an easier way to manage your calories in these four different categories. Now a question that I typically get about this plate is where does fruit fit on this? And I like to say that fruit is one of those foods that if you were truly over consuming it, you'd be the first person on earth to overeat fruit and get fat as a result. So don't worry about how much fruit you're getting. But if you're curious about what category it fits in, it sort of can overlap between starch and veggies depending on the fruit. So again, don't worry about it. If you want to do something like protein, starch, vegetables as uh, let's say another quarter and then fruits is another quarter you could totally do that you could just include you know your fruits and veggies into one category don't overthink it too much it's you don't need to get to that point right 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 away you're sort of at the beginning stages make it as simple as possible and I, I promise you that you're not going to overeat fruit okay so don't worry about that another question I typically get is where does fats fit in in this category like maybe you're somebody who eats a higher fat nutrition and that's fine you can eat higher fat in your meals what I would do is I would make protein stay the same so one fourth to 25% of your plate cut this fourth into an eighth so one eighth is starch one eighth is fat and keep the vegetables okay so you could do it that way too that way you're getting fats you're getting starches you're getting proteins and you're getting vegetables now also remember that most proteins unless you're getting extremely lean versions of your proteins are going to have some fats in them. So what I have seen make a lot more sense for those that are just starting off who don't want to get super nitty gritty with the details is protein and fat are sort of included in the same category. Then you have starch over here and then you have vegetables. So if you're just getting started, buy sort of like a leaner cut of meat that's still going to have some fat in it. You're still going to get your fats from your protein sources. You're going to get your starches from you know beans, rice, potatoes, quinoa, that's another favorite of mine and then you're gonna get low starch, low carbohydrate vegetables is gonna be half your plate. So this is really important if you're not interested in counting calories because what it's going to allow you to do is just look at your portion sizes and have a pretty good idea of how many calories you're consuming and if you can stay consistent with that, you are going to start dropping body fat very easily.